Mr. Bua, I'm Rajan Gamage, and my partner is Ivan Daniel. And uh, our experiment is going to be based on uh, static electricity and a bit of uh, the triboelectric effect. So I'll first give uh, a small introduction to the theory. So first, there are two types of uh, charges, the positive and the negative. Uh, usually the positive charge is given by the proton and the negative charge is given by the electrons. Uh, and the charge of an electron is 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb. Uh, so, uh, in scope of static electricity, static electricity is uh, produced by uh, gaining or losing of electrons by the process of friction. Uh, uh, in this case, uh, even though we can charge an uh, object uh, as to be positive, we are actually taking off electrons because, uh, according, uh, because uh, the protons are not mobile because uh, the protons are in the nucleus of an atom, so only the electrons uh, will be mo mobile and will be in the process of uh, giving uh, charge uh, to an object. And also, like charges repel and unlike charges attract. Hello, Mr. Buva, I'm Daniel, and now it's my turn to explain on the definition of triboelectric effects. Uh, the, de the definition of triboelectric effects is actually uh, the electric charge produced by friction between two objects. For example, we can see uh, by rubbing a glass with a fur or comb through the hair, which can produce triboelectricity. Other examples could include. Um, when you rub like glass with the silk and a hand rubber rub with the fur. Triboelectric series. Materials are often listed in order of polarity of charge separation when they are touched with another object. A material towards the bottom of a series, when touched to a material near the top of a series, will attain a more negative charge. The further away two materials are from each other on the series, the greater the charge transferred. Materials near to each other on the series may not exchange any charge or sometimes may exchange the opposite of what is implied by the list. This depends more on the presence of rubbing, the presence of contaminants or oxides, or upon properties other than the type of material. Now I'll be explaining on the materials that we use. First of all, we have the foil paper, which is made of aluminum. Next one. We have three plates here, three different kinds of plates. First one is the paper plate. Secondly is the styrofoam plate, or we call it styrene. And the third one is the plastic plate. We'll be using it at different times, at different times. Yes. And lastly, we have the DMM, we used to measure the current. To start off the experiment, we had to make sure that we are in a cold and crisp area. So as you can see here, we are in an empty classroom with the air condition on. We, we need to make sure that it is cold and not a hot and humid place because it will not work if it's hot and humid. Because humidity is the number one enemy of static electricity. Okay, what we have here now is the styrofoam plate or styrene. Styrene based on the triboelectric series. A uh, triboelectric series uh, is used to classify whether an item uh, likes to be more positive or more negative. Okay, styrofoam is at the bottom of the list. It means that it likes to be more negative when you rub it. And secondly, we have this aluminium plate. We use it to put it on top of this charged styrofoam so that it will conduct the electrons. Hair is on top of the list of our triboelectric series. It means that it likes to be more positive. Actually, us humans, we are like to be more positive, even our hands. So, uh, this thing is more negative when you rub it with our hair. And this is neutral. So when you put it, it becomes a conductor for the electrons. So us being positive, when you bring our finger near it, it will conduct the electrons to our finger. Hi. Now we are going to conduct the experiment. So uh, the first material is going to be the polystyrene uh, plate. So first we'll charge it by rubbing it with my hair. So we we'll try to keep the number of strokes uh, put on something around 10 because uh, each number of strokes is going to uh, remove some electrons. So we will keep uh, everything constant. So we will use 10 strokes 
of rubbing on my hand, so to keep the electrons roughly the same. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and then change this charge. Aluminum is the handle, we need to use the handle because if we touch it, we will earth it. Electron. Alright, so now we just put it on top. Okay, now we will use the DMM to measure how much current will it produce. Asha, can you do it? Yeah, sure. So, so. The next material we are going to use is this plastic plate. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Move it. Turn the handle. And then, okay. And now we are going to measure the current. Can you see it? Yeah. Okay, one, one, two. The next material we are going to use is this paper plate. So we'll uh, rub it and get it charged. 10 times. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And we'll hold it with the uh, string. Careful. Okay. So I'll do it. Okay, now we are going to measure the current by using the DMM with the paper plate. Let's see. There's no value. Alright. We can see that styrofoam plate produced 95.7 microampere. This shows that the current produced is very small. It's almost the same amount of current produced when we feel an electroshock. Plastic plate, on the other hand, produced 113.7 microampere. This shows that it has a higher reading than styrofoam plate. This is because, based on triboelectric series, a material towards the bottom of the series, when touched to a material near the top of the series, will attain a more negative charge, thus producing a high current. Meanwhile, the paper plate didn't produce any current. This is because both are in the positive category and they are near to each other.